Music is not sweet like this anymore. All right, anyways, one of the great ways to enjoy this summer weather is along Lake St. Clair. No, not on a boat, but enjoying drinks and a meal along the waterfront. I'm on the waterfront. Yeah. One restaurant has a unique setting inside and out, and it's perfect for summer. Michelle Oliver takes us to the Nautical Mile in St. Clair Shores to dine in the D at Brownies on the Lake. With gorgeous views of the lake and delicious food to match, it's no wonder everyone in St. Clair Shores knows about Brownies on the Lake. Everybody knows about Brownies. Brownies is a unique location. We have a thousand feet of seawall. We seem to get more boat traffic than car traffic due to the fact that we have such a large seawall. We have a beautiful view of all the surrounding marinas. We have a great view of Lake St. Clair. Nobody can beat the view that we have. However, this is not the original Brownies. Brownies used to be next door in the other marina. It lasted for several years. They sold it, bulldozed it down, and now there's another restaurant on that property. So when the Andiamo restaurant group decided to take over this property, they thought, what a better name than Brownies. The whole restaurant has a very nautical theme. It was at one point a Quonset hut where boats came to get repaired. And one of the boats that we still have on the property was in the, the Quonset hut to, for repair, and they built the restaurant around the boat. To go with their seafaring theme, they offer quite a bit of seafood. We obviously wanted to cater to the, to the boat crowd because they want to come in after being out on the water all day and grab a quick bite to eat. One of our signature dishes, of course, is our famous brownies burger. Everybody comes in for that. And after the brownie burger, what's not to like but having a brownies brownie? Today, however, we're going to make their waterfront walleye. First, we're going to make the breading for this walleye. So we take some panko breadcrumbs and season them with salt, pepper, and tarragon. We're going to hit that with some of the lemon pepper. Then, to kick the lemon up a notch, we zest in a Meyer lemon. Or should I say microplane? Wait, micro what? Microplane is just the, the name of the tool. It's just a finer, oh, a much finer zesting. You get less of the, the pith of the lemon, less of that bitter flavor, more of just the oil and that, that lemon flavor. Oh yeah, there. you can see, so like the pith of the lemon is the white part that yes. kind of comes once you get the yellow part off. Yeah. And you can see it's not as white as a lemon generally is when you zest it. We mix it all together with some parsley and we're ready to bread the fish. Now what we have here is our Old Bay aioli. Which is um, old bayoli, so like aioli mixed yeah. with old bay. It's yeah, <laughs> it's got capers, uh, pickle relish. It's, it's similar to a uh, a tartar sauce. We spread it on the fish and then coat the fish in breadcrumbs, and it's ready to go in the oven. Now onto their potato croquette. Basically our mashed potato, but we add some things to it and then we fry it off, so it's a, a thicker cake. A fried mashed potato. Yes. <laughs> So we start with some potatoes and add in some sour cream, parsley, and one egg. We mix it until it feels right. This is one of those things you just kind of have to eyeball. It's never going to be perfect. We then form the potato mixture into a patty and do a three-part batter. First flour, then an egg wash, and finally some pinko breadcrumbs. Then into the deep fryer it goes. Finally, we saute up some green beans and put it all together on a plate with an extra drizzle of that old bayoli. Just enjoy yourself and pretend like you're a little part of Florida, but you're actually in St. Clair Shores. Well, joining us is the executive chef, Adam Schmitz, who has officially made everyone hungry now <laughs> after watching that piece, which is great. And you brought in an amazing spread. Tell us what we have here. Yeah, we brought in our summer fare today. Um, we have a fine selection of pizzas. We brought in our, uh, our chicken. Barbecue chicken pizza today. That looks um, great. Our brownie fire melt, which is a awesome pairing with our jalapeno popper dip. Ah. A lot of people like to come in and try the the heat so game on that. Let's get let's get a little side of that burger. Yeah, right that's there. got jalapenos, uh, onions, ghost pepper cheese on there, as Ooh. well as cheddar with a sambal aioli. So that's got okay. a lot of heat to it. A lot of heat. And this, even though we're skipping over the chicken yeah. wings, that's okay. This is the Jalapeno popper dip, so that's got jalapenos in it as well as uh, cheddar cheese, garlic, shallots, 
Wow. That's a great pairing if you're looking to get some heat for the night. Okay. And yeah. Cool down with a drink. Yes. Uh, yes. And what, what, tell us about the wings. We have our uh, whole wings. We do a whole wing fried off, and we do that with our with three options. But this is our house rock and rye barbecue sauce. We infuse our barbecue sauce with rock and rye. Nice. Yeah, a little hometown staple. Little, little sliders over here, nice and light for yeah. the summer. Yeah. Perch sliders, real standard with coleslaw and our old bay aioli. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. Cajun, uh, this is our Cajun buttered salmon, real simple with red beans and rice. Uh, right now we have our summer veg going on with uh, julienne veg with the different, different squashes and things like Very that. Good. And is this what you made with Michelle? Yes, this is the, uh, the waterfront walleye. That's what we did uh, okay. for the special. Tip that up a little. That yeah. looks great. And last but not least. Yeah, our peel and eat shrimp. All real right. nice and uh, simple. All right, so let's bring in the general manager, Zach Smith. Thanks for being here, too. Thanks for having us. So you guys are not just great food. You've got some entertainment there as well, too. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's kind of a spend your afternoon, spend your night. You know, it's not come in for a quick meal. We have uh, live entertainment seven days a week, Monday through Sunday, uh, mostly acoustics, but full bands on the weekends and DJs on the weekends as well. Um, so like I said, it's not, it's kind of an atmosphere thing kind of thing. It's not just uh, come eat and leave, it's come eat, enjoy yourself, stay for the evening. Yeah, have a sense of community, hang out a little bit. So do you guys have any special events coming up? Yeah, well, uh, we have Jobby Nooner, to the app, happens to be today, so good timing for that. And then uh, next week, Wednesday, we have our 4th of July party. Um, we have the day before the 4th, so people can recover if they need to, because mm -hmm. um, most of them have the day <laughs> off work, so it is the 3rd of July. That's actually. very smart. Yes, very you know, turn up on the 3rd, rest on the 4th, right. go back to work on the 5th. We're thinking of everyone. Right, yeah, right, so right, right. Absolutely. Yep. That's awesome. So remind everyone where you're located, please. We're between 9 and 10 on Jefferson, so pretty much dead on 9.5 mile on Jefferson on St. Clair Shores. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Also, if you want to try out brownies on the lake, we're giving away four $50 gift cards. For your chance to win, go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. And, of course, we invite you to join our Dine in the D Facebook group where we talk about all of the great places to eat around town. Join us, see what's going on.